Hi, my name is David Liu. I'm a senior product manager here at Trend Micro. I'm going to showcase deep security virtualization security capabilities. For VMware environments, deep security provides an agentless security suite comprised of agentless anti-malware, agentless IDS IPS firewall, and agentless file integrity monitoring. I'm going to demonstrate each of these capabilities. The first section we want to show you is actually the deep security console. If with uh, deep security, we have uh, three major sections of the product. We have the dashboard alerts and reports section. These are the user interactive components, which shows you the latest status to the product. We also have an asset management portion of the product, which includes most of your computers, as well as your security profiles. These profiles you will be using to overlay on top of your assets to apply certain security postures and controls to your computer. Lastly, we have all the rules and settings. So this includes anti-malware, web reputation, firewall, and so on. These rules are the building blocks for your security profiles to apply to your computers. The demo we're gonna focus on right now is the instant on protection demonstration. So the first thing I'll do is I will be going to vCenter and I'll deploy a brand new VM from template. And we're gonna call this VM a test VM. We're going to power on this machine the moment it's created. We're going to switch the VM view into host and cluster view so you can see the VM that's being provisioned in real time. I'm going to switch back to the deep security console. Because we're plugged into vCenter, we're able to get a view of what's happening at your vCenter instantaneously. As the VN is being provisioned, as you, you can see here that we have a total of four machines, including our virtual appliance, that's currently on this ESX host. The new test VM is currently being created. It does not have any Trim Micro products installed on that machine. It's a clean Windows image. And the moment it's created, as you will see later, it will be managed and protected. And we're going to actually show you by downloading a virus and us capturing all without the need of having any agent. We're, um, we're now fully provi provisioned on a new VM. So this is the test VM that we just created. Coming back to the deep security console, as you can see, we have already discovered there's a new VM. Currently the status is unmanaged because that new VM is currently powering on. As you'll see in the next couple of seconds, as the machine powers on, Deep Security is able to connect to the test VM. And currently, this green light means that we're currently managing this VM, all without the need of having any agent. And we're currently building a baseline. The baseline is built for the purpose of file integrity monitoring, which I have to turn on for this machine right now. As you can see right now, the machine has been fully baselined and protected. This new VM is currently protected by Trend Micro Deep Security without any agents. And it's currently capable of detecting malware, which I'll actually demonstrate right now. So we're going to open a console to the virtual machine that was just provisioned from a template. And we're logging into this machine for the first time. I had a shortcut created in the template to point to the iCard test virus, and I'm going to download it right now.
Currently, this machine has been protected by Trim Micro, as you can see that where you can tell you that this URL is not safe because it contains a threat. This is our web reputation service in motion right now. I'm going to close this and I'm going to show you also the antivirus component in work, working. So I just changed the setting to turn off our web reputation service so I can successfully download the file. I click on the download iCar virus. This time allows me to download because I turn off our web reputation service. The moment I click on save, we have already captured this malware. We're telling you that the malware cannot be copied because we've already removed this and quarantine it on the deep security virtual appliance. So moving back to the deep security console, we're gonna look at the status of what just happened. We're gonna look at anti-malware events and we're gonna get the latest events on our virtual appliance. As you can see here, the iCard test file that was captured from the Internet Explorer cache directory was captured in real time and is currently quarantined on our virtual appliance. In addition to anti-malware protection, the deep security virtual appliance can also deliver agentless deep packet inspection or intrusion prevention firewall, as well as integrity monitoring without the need for additional agents. What we're gonna demonstrate right now is deep packet inspection in action. As you can see here, we have two sections. We have a firewall, we have deep packet inspection. And under deep packet inspection, we have IDS, IPS, web application control, and web application protection. We're going to show you a list of rules that comes with the product. By default, we have over 1,700 different rules. These rules can be identified automatically and applied to your system. We're going to actually show you one machine that I have right now. It's the, the, this machine currently is protected by our anti-malware, anti firewall, and deep packet inspection. If you look at this machine, right now we have deep packet inspection turned on. And I have actually ran a recommendation scan. Basically a recommendation scan goes through your system and look for vulnerabilities or patches that are missing. And we match that against the list of protections, uh, the rules that we have that's, a, that's able to protect you from vulnerabilities. Right now we have 65 rules recommended for this computer. We're going to go into the IDS IPS section. And as you can see, these are the 65 rules that we have in place that allows you to protect that machine until the time you, you have um, related to These are the rules that we have in place that can help you virtually patch your machine until the time you have IT bandwidth to apply the physical patches, in which point Deep Security is able to remove those recommendations automatically as well. This is all done without the need of having any agents within our product. What I'm about to do is I'm about to assign all these rules to, so that this machine is protected. And I group select all the rules, all 65 rules, and I assign it to all interfaces. And the moment I click on save, 
This machine is now protected without any trend micro components. So right now we're going to talk about agentless file integrity monitoring and we're going to demonstrate how that's working in a uh, VMware environment. We're going to first go to vCenter. We're going to open a console to one of the machines that's currently protected by deep security without any agents. Just to prove that we have nothing from Trend Micro installed, I'm going to go into the Task Manager. I'm going to do a sort by memory. Typically, either Microsoft or antivirus software uses the most memory. As you can see, nothing is installed here from Trend Micro. We're going to go to the Control Panel, Add or Remove Programs. As you can see here, there's no Trend Micro presence on this machine whatsoever. In order to perform a file integrity monitoring check, the first thing we have to do is go to Deep Security. This is a Deep Security console. We're going to go to this machine called Fuji Demo 1. And we're going to show you that this machine currently has a baseline in place and a rule in place to monitor for Windows host file changes. So this is the baseline that's currently in place, and we have already fingerprinted the host file. So as of November 17, this file and its current state is remembered as the baseline. Any changes to it will be monitored and reported within the product. And we're currently, as you can see here, we have two rules assigned. We're monitoring the host file and any software changes to the system. What I'm going to do is go switch back to Fuji Demo 1 machine. I'm going to actually change the host file by going to Notepad. I'm going to add a test IP address. I'm going to save it. Next thing I'm doing is I'm going back to the Deep Security Console. I'm going to scan for integrity changes. Keep in mind this is all done without the need of having any agents. And right now it's scanning the file system for integrity changes. And this part is going to take two minutes. Less than two minutes. Now with the yep, I'm still recording. Yeah, That's it. So the integrity scan has been completed. And we're going to show you the status of the result of the integrity scan. We're going to go to the events. As you can see here, it has noted that Windows host file has been changed. This is a great tool if you have certain compliance requirements for monitoring key cardholder information or health patient records. Uh, for system in scope that requires integrity changes monitoring and also change control management, this tool is able to help you by monitoring the system all without the need of having any agents. We have just demonstrated how deep security can provide agentless protection for virtual environments, including anti-malware, IDS IPS firewall protection, and integrity monitoring. Ultimately, this type of protection enables higher VM density, faster performance, easier manageability, and stronger security.